I Shock Boys fans. I saw this movie about 15 years ago. I have no memory of it, though. It's time to watch it again. You can watch it with me. It's called The Finks. Let's check it out. Our movie starts with a U.S. spy trying to get into Albania. He gets caught and tossed out immediately. First attempt failed. He tries a couple more attempts, which also lead to failure. Now he has to face the music. Hiya, sweetheart. You blew it, Corrigan. A stupid country like Albania, and you blew it. So mysteriously disappeared. Apparently, some U.S. celebrities have disappeared. For God knows what ugly, twisted, un American reason. Here is the snatch list. The enemy has grabbed Georgie Jessel. And they are real celebrities. Underage underground apartment. So, what to do? That's a computer that's going to tell him what to do. And the answer is... What's it say, Chief? Form a pop musical group and get invited to Albania. What do you say, kid? You think it'll work? A pop group? Apparently all the celebrities have been taken to Albania. So the government does some kidnapping of their own. They kidnap four people to form a musical group. This guy had a kidnap right in his car. Car napped. Seven days a week. And the band. More than thirty-two dollars a month to spend foolishly. Sure hope all that bread don't turn me rotten. Have your little joke. Because your government is in rock and roll for keeps. Like it or lump it. Gentlemen, my name is Richard Pryor, and I'm here to teach you song. Hey, man. You don't really. Stuff, and they teach him basic music. Now, this is Phil Baby, big time music producer. They need a song for their platter, sweetheart. Oh, well, calm your head, Fruit Loops. Listen, you fail to realize that I've been working on this epic all my life. So he writes him a big song that becomes a huge hit. Here from Holland is And now here are the fabulous feats. They become very famous. Yesterday of Maureen O'Sullivan adds new heart tugs to the list of world figures lost in Albania, including the Miss. Their Minister of Culture called. They want the Finks for their National Flower Day. Yes, my boy, we've saved America again. And if you don't get those four creeps out of the army in the next 12 minutes, I'll have your ass. Gentlemen, follow me. First step for the Finks is to uh, go to London. Explains why we're in London. No, it doesn't. This is where we find out where Markevich is. Which explains why we're in London. No, it doesn't. Martha Ray. She knows where some maps are. Oh, they're tattooed on the tummies. 
of my three daughters, uh, London, Copenhagen, Rome. So they have to find these three women who have tattoos, a chunk of a map, on their bellies. There's one. So they're sampling a lot of women in order to uh, check out some bellies. No, please, just the stomach. Poor baby, she. And because of his sacrifice, this world will be a safer place tomorrow. The drummer finds number two. Two down, one to go. Next stop, Rome. So they all have these x-ray glasses, which allows them to see through clothing. However, you can't see through underwear, which is interesting. And it helps them find map number three. You want the map? The Copenhagen map? The Rome map. And they put them all together. It leads them to this castle, which apparently is where the king of Albania lives. Your objective, the Markevich Castle. In, inside that castle, they find their celebrities. Colonel Sanders serving some KFC. You don't groove so good with the colonel. Oh, well, he's an absolute square. That's the king's wife. I told you, he's getting dressed really special. But why have you deviously and hideously snatched our people? But that's that, sir. This is America. Albania. Now what's it got? This place is crawling with commies. So they brought Americans and over. There, so forth. We we'll bring Americans here. It's that rust on The guests don't seem to be all that in hop, hopped up hurry to leave. Kidnapped celebrities are introduced. The Maui Boys. And Mr. Tonto. Mr. Busby Berkeley. And his original Goldigan. The Finks puts on a show. Can't you feel his cues and eyes? Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. Yes, they're sneaking the celebrities out on radish carts. Or in the radish carts. Radishes. Ladies and gentlemen, on this auspicious occasion. Beauty, are you comfortable? I am a cart stops will jump out and hide in the shadows. Ah, uh, Mass Man Fearless. And you and I will attack the tank with our bare hands. Ah, uh, Mass Man Loco. The band performs another song. Near the wall around the country, their music makes the wall collapse, which gives them a way out, which is what they do as our film ends. All right, let's talk about this movie called The Finks. This is a movie that I actually had on VHS. I had a bootleg copy of it that I picked up somewhere in the early 2000s. I don't know where. The copy was awful, though. It was just really bad quality. That's what you get for bootleg sometimes. But um, now the Warner Archives has seen fit to uh, put this out on a DVD or DVD, whatever this thing is. And it looks one hell of a lot better. It's a very strange film. Um, it, it's a comedy. came out in 1970. Apparently... Uh, there's been some celebrities, um, maybe C-list celebrities, I guess you could say, who've been kidnapped by by the, by the country of Albania. Nobody knows why, so um, these super secret agents devise a way to get the celebrities back. They think the easiest, they try to break into Albania, but they can't get in, so they come up with a new strategy. 
they decide to form a pop band, like a rock and roll band, um, and have them become really famous, and then hopefully they can get into Albania that way, like being invited or whatever. And so that's what they do. They they find four people, they form a band, they force them to form a band, they kidnap them, um, and of course they become very popular. They get this record producer who writes some songs and stuff, they teach them how to play instruments, they become really popular. Next thing you know, they get a, um, an invitation to go to Albania, which they do. Eventually they get there. Now, the celebrities that have been kidnapped are like Colonel Sanders, uh, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, Jay Silverheels and John Hart, actually, and uh, uh, Edgar Bergen, and just, just a ton of Leo, Hunt, Leo Gorsi and Hans Hall, just strange people they have kidnapped. But nonetheless, they manage to get into the castle where the King of Albania lives. It turns out, uh, I think the wife of the king is American, and she wants a touch of Americanism to be around her, so they kidnap all these people. Um, Although it doesn't seem like they're really all that upset about being kidnapped. I don't know. Strange. Anyway, they devise a plan to sneak them out in these carts full of radishes, which are like the state uh, vegetable or whatever the hell a radish is uh, of Albania. They stash them in these carts and then they march right out. They have a little concert at the end to knock down this wall. And then they, I think they get into Yugoslavia is where they go. But anyway, that's the film. Uh, again, a very strange film and um, had a very limited release apparently. And um, like I said, never been released on VHS or DVD until the Warner Archives people decided to put it out. So I think this did appear on cable though. I seem to remember this showing up once in the very early 80s, very briefly. I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's the movie The Finks. You can get this from the Warner Warner Archives or uh, eBay, Amazon, whatever, for about 11, 12, 13 bucks or so. So, yeah, it's pretty good. So, anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. Strange film. It's called The Finks. Watch it. By the way, The Finks is the name of the band in this movie. That's what they're called. So, watch it. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. Bye.